Hey guys and gals, what's going on? So, I'm here with another Shark Ion error video. And in these videos, I'm gonna go over the error lights and codes and some of the fixes that you can do to get it working again. Now, if you have it hooked up to the app, it's gonna verbally tell you on the app what the problem is or what the error code means. Or uh, on some of the newer models, it will verbally say, like the 1000 series is going to say, hey, suction motor stuck, cliff sensors, clean, stuff like that. So the first one is all the LED lights are not on. There's no LED lights. You have no power. It's acting dead. The first thing you want to do is check the switch. Down is off. I is on. So O off. I on. And then... If it still doesn't do anything, power cycle on and off just to see. If it's still not doing anything, you have a couple different things that it could be. First, motherboard could go bad. If that happens, you're, you're SOL, honestly. Next is the battery could be dead. So you'll slide it up to your charger. Make sure the charger has a green light on the right side of it if you're looking at it. So when you push the robot to it, there will be a green light on the charger. Push this all the way up, let it make contact, but not push in the bumper. So you're gonna make contact, pull it back just about an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, and wait a second and you'll see the blue lights. If it's charging, you're good to go. If it's not charging, you're gonna to wanna to, want to leave it there and see if it picks up charging after a couple hours. Charger could be bad. The contact pads right here could be bad. The contacts on the charger itself could be bad. The battery, if, if it starts charging, you pull it away and it dies immediately, the battery is bad, or if it gives you the error that the battery is needs replacing. Two Phillips heads, or one depending on the model you have, pull this off, pop the battery out, you're good to go. I have used, in good service, uh, 80 plus percent batteries for um, about $20 plus shipping, depending on where you're at, and sometimes I put them on sale for about uh, $17. New battery costs about $35 um, plus shipping depending on where you buy it and if they're in stock. The 725, 750, well, the 725, 750, and 850 batteries are the same. The 1000 series batteries are a higher uh, battery. They can work, but I don't recommend it because it, the 850 is already a pretty high battery, so putting a little bit more current on that motherboard could damage it, just saying. So, Milliamp wise it's higher, but as voltage it's, it's just a tad higher and with small electrical boards like this you want to be careful. So stick to an 850 battery. A 725 or 750 battery will work if you can't find anything else. It's going to be labeled a 700 in battery um, or an 850 battery. So 700 in is the battery that was used all the way through the 700 series. Except for the old model that did not have removable wheels. All right. Now let's, uh, let's just address a few things about the robot that people talk about. So they ask, why am I making these videos? Um, not everybody has their manual. Not everybody can look it up and find it. So this is why I'm making these videos and I'm making one for all the series due to the fact that every robot is different. They're similar, 700, 725, 750, 750 in, um, 850s, 851s, uh, 1000 series. They're all similar, but the actual errors are a little different. So if you look at these two, we have a 1000 series, 850 series. They are actually just a little bit different. So just keep that in mind. That is why I'm making these videos. So next we have clean is clean and um, so a red clean symbol and a flashing um, exclamation point together. That means the suction motor has failed. So there's a few things you can do to check that. The first one being, look inside here, make sure there's nothing visibly stuck inside the suction motor. Next, check your exhaust, make sure it's not plugged up. Make sure there's nothing like paper or anything jammed in the brush roller to where it can't flow. Then you're gonna wanna take your bin out and you're going to want to check and make sure that the filter is nice and clean. And if it is, 
it could be a motherboard issue or it could be the suction motor hasn't actually failed. I do have the suction motors uh, on my eBay store. I'll link it in the description below. Um, do not confuse it. This is one thing that is totally different from robot to robot is the suction motors. 700 series are different, 850 series and 1000 series are all different. That's one of the biggest things that's different. You got, a, you got sensors that are different, motherboards are different, suction motors are different. The things that are the same are generally, um, well, I can't even say that. So you got batteries that are a little different from sevens to eights to thousands. You got wheels that are different from sevens, eights, and thousands. 725, uh, some 725 and seven, uh, some 750 wheels are the same as 850, but the housings can be different. It depends on which model it is. If it's a 750 in or 725 in or a 750 or 725. They labeled these robots very generically. So they still make a 750 robot. They still make an 850 robot. They make an 851. Also depends where you bought it. If you bought it at Target, Walmart, Sam's Club, uh, Costco, Amazon, from Shark themselves, they could be different colored. They could have different actual cutouts for the wheels, different battery covers. The brushes and the 725, 750s, 850s are all the same. The 1000 series is different. The motors are different on some models. The bins are the same for 750s, 725s, 850s. Spinners are different on 700s, 850s. Well, so 725, 750, 850 is the same. 1000 is different and 700 is different. Spinner wheel is the same for generally every robot. Um, except for the early models, but all the new ones are pretty much the same. Sensors are all different. Bumpers are different. Um, they look the same, but they are different. So just be aware of that. But that's what you can do for a suction motor issue. Next is going to be the clean flashing red. Robot may be stuck on an obstruction. So take your robot, move it, try to turn it on. Next, you're going to turn it over. Push your wheels both down, make sure they're not stuck. They can get stuck or they might get stuck down and you need to pick them up. Clean all your sensors. You got two sensors up front, two sensors on the side that are cliff sensors. The sensors up front, all along here, there's a little plastic piece that fits in here that you'll pop off. And then you have your bend sensor, well, your bend sensors on this side. That won't cause that error, but that is where that one is located. If you cleaned all that, checked all that, and it's still not working, go ahead, power it down, cycle power a couple times, possibly remove the battery to clear memory. Uh, make sure your, your bumper isn't stuck, it could be stuck, and you can take and push it on the carpet and try to free up the wheel. The wheel could be stuck. If that's the case, if that still doesn't fix it, you have a bigger problem, whether it's a bad wheel, a bad sensor, a cut wire, a short, a short circuit in the motherboard, could be a million things. Next is the max flashing. Robot may be stuck on obstacle. Move robot to new location. Front bumper may be jammed. So that's pretty similar to the clean. Um, do the same thing. Check all the sensors. Make sure make sure this goes in and out. Make sure the wheels are, are working and flexing like they should. Next is the dock flashing. Your robot boundary sensors are reporting an error. So that could be, I've seen it for any of these sensors up here, the little, the black ones, the clear ones, um, the side ones right here, the two up here, the ones back here. Um, also, they used to have little modules that you could put out and shoot a beam and it would detect it and wouldn't let it go there. That could be an issue. Um, if Cleaning all your sensors with isopropyl alcohol, 70 plus. I like to use 91% isopropyl alcohol because it dissolves really, I mean, evaporates really fast and it's safe for electronics. Make sure you turn it off, clean all the sensors off, put everything back. Now, this little strip that's in here normally, there's a little black strip. I need to grab one for these videos, but I don't have one near me. Um, that can get scratched up and cause errors as well. Just heads up. So next we have um, clean is red plus dock flashing together. Cliff sensors are reported in the air wipe sensors. 
Roblox can not start due to error. Turn off power switch. So turn the power off, clean your sensors. I like, if I'm gonna clean any sensor on one of these robots, I'm cleaning them off. It means the bottom, the sides, the front, everything. Clean all the sensors. If that doesn't work, you have a bigger issue, start eliminating them by moving parts, make sure everything's articulating right, powering off, powering on, checking that, seeing if maybe, you know, moving it or hitting the, the, the front sensor or something can make it move for a second. If not, it could be an internal issue with the motherboard. Um, clean red plus max, um, flashing together. The dustbin has rem been removed and needs reinserting. Big, big, big issue I see with these is this. Spring brakes, when you put it in, it just falls out. There is a sensor, well, a switch. It's a switch, it's not a sensor. It's a, it would be more of a proximity switch because it pushes in, notifies the motherboard that the, the bin is inserted. Um, so when this switch is engaged and completes the circuit, letting it know, hey, the, it's inserted, you put a piece of uh, strong tape right there over that, put this in, see if it works, uh, and then you can tape this in if you need to. If not, you need a new, new um, latch. Could be, as, could be um, as easy as this little um, switch. Something could be clogged up in here that's preventing it from closing, or the motherboard could be bad. Now I do have, if you need a part, check the description. I'll leave my link in, in the descriptions um, of all these videos. And whoop, I got some dirt on my paper. And if you have any, any questions that you want me to answer in deeper, uh, say you have an issue that I'm not going over, make sure to comment below, guys. I, I'm really open. I'll try, to, I'll try to answer as many questions as I can if I'm at work even. Um, I can't get to them all, and some people will ask the same question that's right below them. So make sure you read the comments. Make sure if you see it that it hasn't already been asked before and answered. Um, this video helps you guys. Make sure please hit that like button. It really helps me out. I put a lot of work and effort into these videos. Even though it doesn't look like it because they're very simple, I have done a ton of research on these. I have taken them apart. I've fixed them. I've filled them. I sell the parts. You know, I do a lot, a lot for the Shark Ion um, community because I love the product. The product's awesome. These are amazing robots and I really like them. There are some issues with them, but in my opinion, they're worth the issues. So, next is flash, I mean max plus uh, exclamation point are flashing together. A side brush is stuck, remove the brief from side brushes. It's gonna be one of two things, guys. Either your motors are going bad and one's sticking, so spin them around, take them off, clean them, or the motherboard's bad. If cleaning them and removing them and spinning them around doesn't fix it, and you, so if you remove them and it's still doing it and it's spinning fine, the motor could be bad or the motherboard. All right, clean red plus max plus exclamation point are flashing together. The wheel is stuck, remove the brief from wheel. That's gonna be your side wheels, these are your drive wheels. This is just this is just your pivot wheel as I call it. It's a it's a more of a I I guess you could call it the drive wheel also. It's a it's the wheel that just moves. So if your robot removes power from one wheel or the other, it spins. It's just a spinning wheel, that's all it is. It does nothing, it doesn't have a motor on it, it doesn't have they say they have sensors, but there are no sensors in here if you take it apart. It's done by these two in the front ones. Um, yeah, you're gonna push these wheels down, push them down, spin them. Uh, you can take them out with uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five on each side, so 10 total. Take them out, clean them out, spin them, make sure they're not seized up. I do see a lot of gears stripping in these now. Uh, it's really unfortunate because that's one of the harder and more expensive parts on these robots is these wheels. Um, Next is dock plus max plus exclamation point is flashing. So that's a blockage of this bad boy. So open her up, clean her out, make sure there's no hair. This cap gets removed. Whoops, well, this one's bad. 
The bearing shouldn't come out with it. It should all come out as one piece. Clean all the hair off, spin it. Make sure that the motor on the side is free. If it's stuck or spinning free or something, the housings on these go bad really fast. Uh, if they get clogged up and not, if it doesn't detect it's clogged and that ampage on that motor raises, heats up and it melts. Um, I sell out of these really quick because it's a big issue. So if you need one, put um, message, uh, put a comment down below and we'll get in touch and I'll see if I can get y'all one. Dock plus exclamation point is flashing. Make sure that the dock, uh, make sure you're using the dock that came with your robot. That's not true. You can use any dock on these. Um, you can use all but the original 700 robot docks. 1000 series, 850, 725, 750. All the docks, the combo docks, the single docks, they all work as long as they are a shark ion dock. Um, could be your dock's gone bad. These charging um, pins right here do go bad from time to time. It's pretty rare, but it has happened. Um, next we have clean is blue, max, and exclamation point. Uh, flashing together, the robot is caught in a tight place or on a obstacle. So this could be stuck, your bumper. Um, that's generally the issue is the, the bumper stuck or the robot is stuck in somewhere it can't get out of. Clean plus dock plus max plus flash and the robot wheels might be stuck or something might be caught. Check the wheels for obstruction. Same thing we did earlier with the, uh, the wheel. Um, so just take them apart, clean them, make sure they're good. Clean plus dock plus max flashing together. The robot is in find my robot mode. You can uh, deactivate this mode. So find my robot mode. When you send a signal on your app, it's going to make an audible noise and you'll be able to find where it is. Because these things do like to go under couches, under chairs, in places that you wouldn't expect under entertainment centers. And they'll get caught up on some wire or something and then you're trying to find it. So guys, that is all of the errors for these robots. I hope this video helped you all out. I know it's long. I try to speak through it. If you have any more questions, check my other videos or leave a comment and we'll see what we can get um, taken care of. And as always, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. It really helps me out and also hit that like button.